making it close, not letting you get separation, but toward the end of that third quarter, you guys really got into a groove. How satisfying is it that you guys were able to put them away? Yeah, it was it was a solid, you know, bounce back game from Chicago. Um, you know, I thought we got a little sloppy at the end of the half, and we might have found separation there. Uh, but they responded in the third, and you know, a lot of good things. You know, I thought we uh, we had moments where at both ends of the floor we were really, really good and really diligent with uh, our game plan. So I was happy with it, and guys did very well. well. We can talk about Kevin and James just about every night, but your second unit, you know, what really stood out about what they gave you tonight? Yeah, you know, I thought the pace was great. You know, they played quick, they played early. Uh, obviously, uh, they made some shots. LA made made a, a bunch of shots again, but uh, just the shot creation due to their pace and quick decisions, I thought was excellent. Uh, I was just asking how much of an impact you still have uh, James's ability, even from the very beginning, like, deep in the yeah, it's really important for our team. You know, we, uh, we, we, you know, we we talk about it, but trying to get in the paint is important to us. Uh, whether it's from James, uh, you know, using his ability, or whether it's from pace, space, and quick decisions. You know, playing early, but we got to get in the paint, find ways to to try to continue to put pressure on their rim, and uh, that'll open us up for opportunities on the perimeter. But. Um, I thought James was uh, was excellent and, and definitely uh, got in there a lot. Yeah, no, I mean it's you know he's he's uh, won us a few games and uh, been a big. Part of our success this year, you know, gives us scoring punch off the bench, but also just a veteran who knows how to play both ends of the floor. He's seen it all, so um, you know he's been great and uh, you know really important to us. I know starting all these things is just who's the best guy. I mean, do you find that you like the more is coming off the bench? I mean, obviously with KD and Harden have and Watkins and sort of do you just like the scoring punch off the bench kind of with that? You know, I th it kind of you know. You never know where we end up, but like it's it makes sense, right? Like, you know, the second unit that oftentimes when we're, the way we're rotating right now is is with Kevin and James both off the floor. So to have LA out there that can anchor us a little bit and give us uh, some shot making, I, th I think is it works well for us at the moment. So um, yeah, he's 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 been really I think uh, foundational for that second unit. Steve, is there a certain um, amount of minutes you want to play on? Not really. You know, it's just about uh, finding minutes for, for everyone in different lineups. And, and at the same time, you know, he's 36 and a half years old, I believe. So I don't want to, like, wear him out in uh, November. Um, so I think it, where he is right now is pretty good. Could he play a little bit? Could he play more? Yes. Could he, would a little bit more hurt him? Probably not. But I think it's still just trying to find that balance and um, where we can, you know, keep keep these guys healthy and, and with some spring in their steps so that they can perform at that level uh, longer.